Yo, what up, guys? Welcome back to another episode. Mm. Uh, I'm to hear more. I'm Patrick Cloud. <laughs> and this is another episode of Damn Internet. You're scary. Hey, how was your birthday week? My birthday week, weekend weeks. was phenomenal. I celebrated probably about about 10 days. 10 days straight. Those are those are it was, 20 year old numbers. Yeah, listen, I was wilding out. This is the first year I'm I'm very excited that my birthday is a whole a whole another year away from me cuz I I just cannot do anything else right now. Damn. It was a lot going on. It was. It was. That was us. <laughs> There's a lot going on. How's the uh, how's the skating rink? The skating rink was awesome. What happened to you? I had family stuff that okay. day. Yeah. <laughs> My brother playing a bunch of stuff, and I was just like, I could sit one out. Listen, <laughs> it's a lot, man. It was it was like camp cane, camp yeah. skating. Nice. Yeah. You could have skated? Nope. <laughs> he had a good time. Tony came. Tony fell a couple times. It was my first time roller skating. First time first ever? First time? Yeah. yeah. Yo, oh, it was man. lit. That's scary. I feel it now. Oh yeah, my I woke up hella sore today. Like I feel I didn't feel it sad Sunday, but I felt it today. And I it was I hurt. I it hurts. It's 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 a lot of muscles you don't typically It's a move. slow reminder that I'm getting older than I think I am. So I'm like, oh, I'm still in my twenties right. and then I fell and I'm like, this fall hurt. But mm-hmm. roller 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 skating was tough at every age, honestly. Yeah, I don't think that's, that's an older thing. I think our coordination did go down though, but um <laughs> <laughs> no, roller, roller, roller skates. Where was it? Was it World of Wheels? Is closed? Right? No, nah, it was actually an outside skate park. So like we were outside, they had screens set up. My name was in lights, and oh, nice. it was, we had a taco it's fairly truck. Fairly new, from yeah. what the owner was saying. Yeah. Okay, it was like a new. Yeah, a taco truck. We had the DJ. It was lit. It was a whole little situation, bro. Was, the tacos was fire. Too. Yeah, those tacos were. Ooh, that was the best. They tacos? were fire. Yeah. What kind of taco? Uh, steak and chicken. Yeah. Ooh, both. Mm-hmm. Well, and they had vegetarian options too. Yeah, they had vegetarian mm. options. I love a good taco. Taco Dude. trucks are really the only truck that I just like. Forget about all the probable nastiness that's going on in there. Like, <laughs> taco trucks is just like right, right in front of you. Just yeah, they'll make it with whatever, and I'll be like, all right. But when it comes to other stuff and bacon wrapped hot dogs, I'm always just like, this doesn't seem sanitary. Right, no. on the, right on the street, there is no truck or anything. It's just a table with a grill. <laughs> right. right. There's no effort then to wash their hands. They're taking the money with the same gloves on. Like you're not gonna take that glove off. You're just gonna take that twenty. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, you're gonna get my change back too with the glove on. Okay. It's the money cool. tacos. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they money tacos. Um, we doing a we doing a song today? Yeah, I think it's about Did time. We get any, I feel uh, like we we've missed a, a couple of them. Well, I don't I don't even know. Last week was so random. People kept popping up. I don't know if we got a chance to do it last week either. So I, it's about. I think we tried. Yeah, I think we had some problems. It with was a beat. lot of it was a lot of guests. It was man. It was it was, it was a very it was turned up week. Yeah, yeah, it was very chaotic and turned up <laughs> turned up week. I'm glad. Uh, I'm glad everybody have fun, but it's it's like there's there's something special about that uh, that calm after the storm. Everybody yes. talks about the calm before the storm, but the calm after after like a just like when you know you're like, man, I'm 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 doing this a lot now. I have and been just like, <sighs> in Airbnbs probably six within the last two months. Six different yeah. ones. Oh, I'm wow. I'm done, man. I'm tired of taking that suitcase in and out of the storage and and packing it up and taking it downstairs and loading it in the car. I'm done, man. I don't want to go anywhere for a while. Our anniversary is this week. We're we're celebrating at home. We might order some food in. We're not that going was low key a very anniversary. Like like y'all were y'all were just like partying together every single day. Yeah, you have to feel like that's that's cool. That's dinner, enough. After that, dinner and a candle. That's it, man. Shit, I don't I don't even want to see anybody right now. Just me, her, and the kid are fine for the next week and a half. And then her birthday is in uh, April, April sixteenth. So, oh, y'all kind of close. Yeah, that's, that's a little I, too close. I'm telling her we're not doing anything. I'm gonna just wait till the summer. I got you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna plan a fucking amazing vacation. But right now, let's just let's just sit our ass down. And. Um, you have you also have um, gas on your side too. It is kind of mm-hmm. unattractive to go anywhere right yeah. now. Um, I can't really use that. Both of our cars are electric. Yeah, ch- to hear how much it costs you to charge up. Nine dollars. Yeah. Mm. Nine dollars overnight, and I'm two hundred and sixty miles. Sheesh. <laughs> Nine dollars. Mine was ninety before this crisis. Yeah, oh, I can imagine insanity. So what are you mm-hmm. up to, like one thirty? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not testing the limits because I feel like wherever I wherever I stop to get my like 
to get gas is a an emergency. Like mm-hmm. it's like I mm-hmm. I have to stop here or I'm not going home. And then B is like I never feel like I'm getting a good deal. And I no, used to not. think like depending on where I was in the city and mm-hmm. all this stuff. I guess there's an app now that you can check all the best prices, but. I never feel like I'm getting a deal. So I don't go based on how much the gas is. I just go based on how much I'm willing to spend. So I'll just yeah. be like, 30 here, 50 here, <laughs> 60 here. 30 here? And it's, I, I make the I make the decisions. <laughs> I'm not letting the pump tell me what to do. Um, Sheesh. But it's rough. Yeah, we are. We are. It's this, scary this out there. very far away. It's scary out there. So between gases and rent prices, like, I, I'm i surprised LA isn't the Wild Wild West again. <sighs> I'm surprised it isn't more of what it was around Christmas time between gases. Oh, yeah. I feel like more robberies will be happening, but yeah. people don't have the gas to get to the good neighborhoods to rob those people. Yeah, what happened? Did all those robbers just like, get away no, we got enough? There's no getaway. Got... The getaway car has no gas in it. So. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Yeah. It's kind of hard to like rob houses on the bus, too. Yeah, people are going to just rob locally. Just <laughs> Can you rob imagine robbing next somebody door. and then calling an Uber to come get you up? You get in the Uber with a flat screen TV. <laughs> or just walking into your unit. <laughs> <laughs> I got the third floor real good this <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> Man, I was I was hit with both of those this weekend. I, I, I moved Sunday. Uh-huh. In the midst of all this gas stuff. So I'm like all these stand up jokes of like gas and uh and um and p- property are hitting mm-hmm. me per- like I'm just like, yeah, that's funny. I agree. I relate, I relate, I relate. Oh my goodness. I relate to all the, the popular jokes right now. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> you moved doing this? How many trips did it take? Um How two. far did you move? Not that far. Okay. I moved downtown. From, oh shit! So yeah, I said I've never do moved downtown. I Jesus know I said Christ. I never would, yeah. but it I just ended up being. It is one of the easiest the places to get property to not like own, but like get somewhere to stay real quick is downtown, yeah. and it's so fair. close to everything. So yeah, I'm, uh, right decision, wrong time. Is it nice? Yeah, it's okay. pretty nice. It's it's probably the nicest place I've ever lived. How are you as an um, unpacker? Are you like you got to get everything done as quick as possible? Or are you going to be doing that horrible? For the next, uh, uh, because be boxed up for, for the, the past six months. Yeah, for the past few years, I've lived in a lot of houses. Me and my cousin uh, move mm-hmm. like literally every year. One time in the middle of the pandemic, we moved twice in in a year. So like, they did. there were sometimes I never fully unpacked. I uh, like came and went, and my uh, art was still on the wall. <laughs> Um, I'm horrible at mounting TVs, so I'm really good for having the TV on the like just on the dresser for a minute. I think one of the places I never got a um, a headboard that was just that was just like the the lowest, yeah. like just thugging Mattress it on out. The floor. Mattress on the floor, but a nice yes. place. So like women, that were was like, actually the first place we started filming. <laughs> Damn it, and that's just scary. Yeah. I was like, why's your bed on the floor? He's like, oh, we just moved in. Four minutes later, why is your bed on the floor? Yeah, that just I moved in and stretched out. <laughs> it was a, it was just stuff that I just didn't care. I just get home and go to sleep. And yeah, be like that was fine. I worked fine, just fine without the headboard. So <laughs> that shit was crazy, man. I, I, um, I'm one of those people. Cam, I gotta unpack, man. Oh, same. I can't deal with the boxes. Really? Yeah, yeah, I can't. I'm gonna be dealing with these. Do you get like all your stuff to get like all the, the furniture and everything set mm-hmm. up fast? Yeah. Well, when I when I moved to my place I'm at now, I actually uh, I didn't move with a lot of furniture, so I had mm-hmm. pre-ordered all the furniture. So when I moved in, I already had stuff like almost half furnished by the time. Are I you guys good in. at like plotting it out and designing the places yourself? That took a little bit. I've changed it like maybe once in a large way since I moved in, but I'm pretty much. I had a friend who does interior design, so she mm-hmm. helped me. There, there it is. Yeah. There it is. You do it? Yeah. Only thing that we still have to do right now at this point is buy more pictures. But everything, for the most part, is set. Like, if we rede- redecorate something, it's because we're going to get, like, new furniture. Mm-hmm. But, like, we plot out. Like, once we go look at a place and we decide, all right, this is where we want to move. This can go here. This can go here. You know what? Let's get rid of this section on. Let's get this new thing. We saw this here. Mm-hmm. So we'll move in, like, with everything in mind or already having yep. everything. So, like, now nice. we're just doing, like, finishing touches. Like, you know, we might replace some hardware so we can all have fixtures, one solid color or something like that. But for the most part, yeah, we're, we're well, we Because I can't, I can't be in a space filled with boxes and furniture and have to figure out where everything's supposed to go. It has right. to, because otherwise I'll be moving stuff that I don't shouldn't be moving and all that. So it's, right. it's making more work for yourself. I just I never had boxes. the eye for it. I hate, I hate having random boxes. Me too. All over the house, you're stepping over stuff. Like my office is a mess right now because we've been um been 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 moving and shaking so much. So like I came in here earlier so I can get some work done because I can't sit in there like comfortably. I will just be like, ah, 
and stop doing what I'm supposed to do. I but can I work tell you in what clutter. I can do, get some good sleep. And you can too on your brand new Helix mattress. As a matter of fact, I got the kid one uh, because I had just purchased a, a mattress. So uh, she couldn't be here. She's at school. But Tony, Tony Valentino just got a brand new Young Helix Tone. mattress. Hey, Tony, why don't you tell the people about it? How do you, how do you feel about your mattress? To mm. hear, to hear, gifted me this mattress. Mm-hmm. Um, to hear, I've never slept better. Really? I told you that. Yeah. I didn't know this was an ad. <laughs> I literally <laughs> to hear gave me a mattress, which I thought was very generous. Mm-hmm. Um, I put it in my room. Mm-hmm. Uh, I literally have been sleeping ten times better. I'm and not even kidding. Tony but, isn't the type of yeah. guy that like likes all the the glam and all of that. I was like, hey man, I got a mattress for you. Come check it out. He's like, ah. All right, you're the second person that told me, and uh, his fiance was like, "Yeah, go get it." So you, you got it. And how was the first night after sleeping on the mattress? How was it? Well, you gave me a king. Uh huh. I had to get a king frame. Yeah. That's why I was like, I don't know. Yeah. But yeah. I got it. That first night was I had a, a competitor's mattress mm-hmm. before this. I won't say the name of it. Yeah. Um, I spent way too much money on that mattress. <laughs> uh-huh. I got it, and I've been telling myself the whole time, like, this is better. This is better than the old mattress, you know what I mean? Because yeah. Because I spent money on it, and I was like, no, 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 this is this is fine. Like this is good. I'm glad I did this, and I hated it deep down. I hated it, and I've been telling Maya like, hey, I think I hate our mattress for like weeks before you gave me this one. Yeah. I put this one in, and I I slept like nice. a baby. Come on. Because it's it's um the difference is the one that I got again. I won't say the name. Mm-hmm. It felt like they took a really firm, um memory foam mattress mm-hmm. and put a pillow top on it. Ah. And so like the pillow top would get warm and yep. then, like I couldn't find the right thing and then it felt But it was it's still like a like a on the firm side or like second. Is it still is it on the firm side or is it on like the soft side? The one that I had before this was supposedly in the middle. Okay. The one that Tahir gave me is in the middle and it actually feels like it's in the middle. Mm-hmm. Like I'm not feeling like I'm on a hard surface with a pillow top. I'm feeling like the whole thing has the right consistency. And you know why that is? It's because everyone is unique and <laughs> Helix knows that. So they have several different mattresses and models to choose from. They have a soft, they have a medium, they have a firm mattress. Mattresses great for cooling you down and for those people that sleep hot and make mattresses great for a spinal alignment to prevent morning aches and pains and even a Helix Plus mattress for plus size sleepers. Listen, okay. Um, I was very confident when I gave Tony this. Very confident. I had already done the research. It's very easy to do. All you have to do is go online. You take a two minute quiz and based on that quiz, Helix will recommend the perfect mattress for you. Helix is awesome, okay? But you don't need to take my word for it. Helix was awarded the number one best overall mattress pick of 2021 by GQ and Wired Magazine. Helix has been recommended by multiple leading chiropractors and doctors of sleep medicine as a go-to solution for improving sleep. And as Tony said, he didn't even know this was an ad. He was just coming in to give his honest opinion of this mattress. I didn't tell him this was happening. None of this was scripted. He just came in and you heard it here. So good review too. right now, Helix is offering up $200 off of all mattress orders and two free pillows for our listeners at helixsleep.com slash D-I-Y-S. All right, Helix mattress, uh, they even specialize in cooling technology. So if you're one of those people that you're hot, your partner's cold or vice versa, whatever, they have a perfect mattress for you. No one wants to go to a mattress store, especially in times like this, which is perfect because, Tony, we didn't have to pick it up from the store, right? No. Picked it up from where? Your house. My house. It ships right to my house. They wrap everything up for you. It doesn't get any easier than this. Like I said, you just go online. You take a two-minute quiz. From that quiz, they'll recommend the right mattress for you. And you have nothing to worry about because you get to sleep on this for 100 nights Try it for free, risk free. That's wild. This, that's crazy. Trial nights, hundred free trial nights. There are over twelve thousand five star reviews on Helix mattresses. Over twelve thousand, over a billion hours of sleep on Helix mattresses. Right now, you guys go check it out. Again, you get two hundred dollars off your all mattresses and orders, and you get two free pillows right now if you go to Helix. Um, you can't beat that, guys. It's You're, pretty confident. Yeah. They said, we'll give you 99 free nights, and you'll still buy this. <laughs> so all you That's have dope. to do is go to um, helixsleep.com slash D-I-Y-S, and you get $200 off of all mattress purchases and two free pillows. Again, that's Helix Sleep. H e l i x s l e e p dot com slash d i y s and get two hundred dollars off all mattress orders and two 
free pillows. Holla at your boy. So Thank you, you, so. you kept the pillows, huh? Uh, well, I just, <laughs> <laughs> they did it. This is the new one. This is the new one, but that was good. Thank you. <laughs> I you he, 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 he looks he should like that. That was yeah. very genuine. Yeah, man. That was like a man on the street interview. There it I is. love Helix. <laughs> it is. Um, so there is a uh, very interesting debate going on online right now, uh, and it was it's it's really stupid. But ha- midway through the argument, you're like, hmm, I kind of want to get in on this. So two people were arguing mm-hmm. about are there in the world are there more doors or wheels? I saw I saw this. Saw this are, just are there more doors or wheels? And they're, the way they were saying it was like, okay, every car has four, every car has four wheels. Every house has multiple doors. Mm-hmm. So then you got to think about all the stuff within the house with wheels, like vacuum cleaners mm-hmm. and, and 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 yeah. But then you got to think about all the buildings and all the doors on all and all inside of all the buildings. Right, and all the like appliances, like, like a microwave has do a door. Locker doors count as a door. Exactly. That like mm-hmm. in microwave doors. There's what about hot wheels. Yeah, and then you're right there. Yeah. Those would Toy. those would count as wheels. Yeah. Oh, but those those also have doors. They just don't open, right? They don't open. If it doesn't open, it's not, it's technically, not a, technically, it's not a door. Not a door, yeah. it's not mm-hmm. a door. But By some of those some of those do have doors that do open. Yeah. Yeah. So then those are count as doors. I mean, yeah, if they open, if it works as a door, I would say it counts. Well, then you got eighteen wheelers, which have Hella. technically three doors, mm-hmm. uh, with the trailer. Well, you got two but doors you have on the back of the trailer. Wheels. Yeah, right. have 18 wheels, so... And that's just on a moving one. A wheel is still a wheel in production, too. So yeah. you got to think of all the... But are doors doors before they get on the Yeah, without the hinge? Off its hinges, yeah. Is it just... I mean, it's still low-key a door. You got, there's still a door. I mean, you'd call it a door if you saw it on the street. Yeah. So are there... I feel like it's more wheels. I feel like, I feel like there are more wheels. The doors, because you need more than one wheel. There's not a lot of not necessarily because wheel bears have one. I was wheel. gonna say because there are there are different places where the, the doors aren't a thing on buildings and that, but they still have stuff with wheels. So you said there's no doors. Yeah, there's there's houses and that that don't have like doors and things like that. What they got? It's nothing. Just like an opening. Yeah, because automatic doors are still doors. Mm-hmm. Um, garage doors are still doors. Is a vault door a door? Yeah, it's like a door. Yeah. yeah, swings over. I don't, I don't know. This is this is why I was just like, man, this is this is kind of tough to to <laughs> break down. Right. And there, there's sometimes there's a boring door which is actually on wheels too. Yeah. Oh, the ones that wheel slide, out. No, the ones that slide, slide out like um oh, like the one right. right right here That's a door in as the well. bullpen. Which one was invented first? The elevator know, doors. Oh, the wheel okay. definitely probably. Yeah, yeah. it's definitely. Because the, the door, like what we consider a door now with hinges and stuff, I mean, they probably just had a yeah. board up against a or nothing, cave like or I was something. Saying, yeah, but, yeah, but wouldn't that be an early out. door? If you blocked the yeah. your cave yeah. entrance? Yeah, technically. I, guess if you're I feel like that would have happened first. Door. Mm-hmm. I feel like you would have needed a door before a wheel. Because a wheel was just... Yeah, door to your house what... probably before they had wheeled mm-hmm. on wheeled devices. I don't know. I I I think you're right though. I would go with wheels, but mm. now I'm now I'm questioning myself. Did you know that dinosaurs were here for so long that there were actual fossils of dinosaurs when dinosaurs still roam? Oh yeah, yeah. That's I just read wild. that. Yeah, that's crazy. Kinda, because I guess you could also say that there's still human remains for us, right? Yeah, but like mm-hmm. fought, like mil- they, dinosaurs have been right here for millions of years. Right, but. Okay, so wait, what exactly is a fossil then? Let's start there. I mean, it would still be considered, I think there were there were more dinosaur fossils because they were around for a lot longer than we have been in existence. But that's just their bones imprinted in, yeah. the, in the earth some way, and then mm-hmm. we get mm-hmm. the outside, right? Mm-hmm. So technically, there could be human fossils during our time period, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I, was, I, was, I was blown away by what, what Maya said, too. I think we talked about it in the last one with her mom being... Uh, Egyptologists mm-hmm. that were closer to Cleopatra's closer to exist, existing in our timeline than oh, right. the timeline when the, which the pyramids were being built. That's pretty. Tr- yeah, I definitely thought that those were all together. Same with the um, dinosaurs. We um, dinosaurs and humans never existed at the same time. Right. <laughs> oh, really? They didn't. <laughs> never. never. Because, well, because uh, we would have been wiped out by the asteroid that hit. Most of huh. life was wiped out when that hit. We would not have made it. Uh, yeah, I used to think early man was like dodging. 
nope. dinosaurs and stuff like right, that. Yeah, the caveman. Case. We I'll came on yeah. after during the. Uh, I don't know 100, percent but it was sometime around the ice age because once the the asteroid hit, it cooled the Earth off and things kind of reset. Why? Oh. Why, why, did, did, why did it make the Earth cold? I because, never knew that. So it kicks up the dirt into the air, and the dirt and it blocks the sunlight. Sun. That, that's the sun. real? Because yes. it will yeah. actually, that this happens fake. when volcanoes erupt. Right. When Mount St. Helens erupted, it snowed in July in New York because of the ash cooled down the atmosphere so much. And there was actually, there were scientists who want to actually, uh, or wanted to put uh, volcanic ash into the atmosphere to help uh, stop like global warming and climate change by cooling the Earth down by blocking the sun's rays. Volcanic ash does more things than just block the sun's rays in the atmosphere, so they didn't do that, but that happens. Shit. And I never why. get where the ice came from. I was like, asteroid, Shit. then it got really chilly. <laughs> <laughs> and then and squirrel did some stuff. The squirrel did some stuff. I'm pretty... <laughs> but I'm, pretty I'm pretty... Go stand in the corner, bro. <laughs> I'm... I'm <laughs> I'm pretty sure that humans were still dodging some pretty big ass animals oh, though. Yeah. Yeah. But it just wasn't dinosaurs. There's so many we we were we were taught so many half truths like especially oh, yeah. when I heard that it uh, more than likely um dinosaurs had feathers. Most of them were covered in feathers. Yeah, most most of them they think really? Well cuz birds birds are basically the direct descendants of dino the dinosaurs. Right. Almost all birds. So, which means raptors were basically giant chickens. Yeah. Which makes sense because you wouldn't see traces of a feather in a fossil, right? That, like you wouldn't know I had dreads from looking at my skeleton. Not necessarily, yeah. unless part of the some fossilized remains do show the the feathers, some don't. So it's it depends on how whatever the feather can be fossilized. Yeah. Well, you get in like an imprint. It's not the actual feather, but it's like an imprint on the stone of the. Feather. Right. That's what all fossils are. Yeah. Right? Okay. Well, no, because well, the bones imprinted in it could be also fossilized remains. I mean. Mm. Oh, but fossils are mainly the bone itself? Yeah. Oh. That is, I, wow. Didn't know about the, the feathers part. That just blew me away. Yeah, there's a, lot, there's a lot of stuff that they just threw at us, and then throughout the years they learned but never like updated us on it. And they're just well, because like, we're not kids anymore. And then you only, we're not checking in. We learn in. that when you're like <laughs> in first and second grade. We're not checking in. Also, the Tyrannosaurus and the Stegosaurus never existed together. They were hella far apart. Oh, so you mean like, all those movies I saw when they fought each other? All those movies, <laughs> yeah. All those cool <laughs> things. All those times I played action figures and they were together. They didn't know each other. <laughs> you're like, who's this? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs> um, yo, that is that is crazy. Yeah. Somebody said Dino Nuggets hit different now. Oh man, right? They shouldn't even be in the same package. No, nah, it should be. If they're descendants of each other's, the nugget, the Dino Source Nuggets should be. Oh, it I makes more sense now. And if they're like, if they oh, look I like chickens, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if they look like chicken, but they, they taste like taste chicken. Yeah. What if dinosaurs taste like? They what if dinosaurs did. tasted like chicken? What if they were fire? What if fucking Stegosaurus Rex was fire as I fuck? never even thought about that. That'd be crazy. Because wasn't the Flintstones acting like they were eating dinosaur with them big ass brontosaurus <laughs> yeah. legs and stuff? They made it seem fire. They did. They didn't really season it. I didn't really see any. I mean, it's a cartoon. Yeah, but they were also cavemen. It was supposed yeah. to be like we eat. What did they get? But good yeah, steaks. Good that? steaks. You don't really have to do anything other than pepper and season. I mean, uh, pepper and salt. You like cook it a right. really good cut of meat. Damn. Medium the, the, rare the, the, brontosaurus. The, oh my god! Uh, yeah, a lot of meat yes, that sounds. Fu that sounds I fuck like, with it. I feel like I would eat the little tiny ones, or maybe the ones that go like. Whoosh. They seem like they are spicy. Remember they came out. Uh, they brought this <laughs> the big ass ribs out the fresh car and, and tipped the whole car over on the yeah. flip You think that'd be a um, like an issue before, while they're cooking it? You know, <laughs> 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 like we <laughs> we have to bring a forklift. To, what to they bring this guy's in? order. A volcano? They just like... <laughs> <laughs> how much really... is that big enough to cook this big ass set of ribs in? It's like you should have known that this this giant thing of ribs is heavier than his car with no engine. Jesus <laughs> Christ. His, his 30-pound car that he pushes with his feet. You can't go nowhere by yourself in a Fred Flintstone car. You always got to have a co-passenger. I mean, a passenger. <laughs> Damn, I feel like the Flintstones had a lot of holes in the logic. Yeah, um, they absolutely did. I like uh, I like going back in old cartoons and just destroying poking the logic. holes, yeah. poking holes through all that shit. Speaking of poking holes, mm -hmm. transition time. We were just talking about how horrible gas is. There's a nigga in Atlanta drilling holes in the gas tank and stealing gas. Mm. This is a, like a from cars, a gasoline stuff? sleuth. Yeah, said that she was driving and her some one of the victims says she was driving and her her car just stopped. She was able to get it to a gas station. 
uh, but it never seemed to fill up. She looks under her car. Seventy-five dollars worth of gas is flowing on the ground. <laughs> that sucks. And she called the mechanic. Said someone had drilled a hole into her tank and showed her metal shavings left behind and everything. I was say, first of all, that's very dangerous, dangerous as fuck. Like he could. Blow if a spark up. happens yeah. to and like you're drilling into metal, sparks yeah. are gonna happen. No oh, drill bits for are, him. Yeah, yeah, no drill bits are plastic and can cut through that metal. So you just put metal on metal. One spark, mm-hmm. you're dead. And that's like, and they're probably at a gas station when he's doing that. Or I guess he could go onto their other cars when they're just parked. Like, yeah, I'm thinking he's doing it. Yeah, yeah, he's doing that's it. That's bold as hell at the gas station. Yeah, I, mean, I, <laughs> I saw like... a video uh, today of a dude. He was selling like <laughs> the containers of gas for the ten cents cheaper at the gas station. Oh, and that's smart. So the dude ran out. Where was he going? To... No, it was it was a, it was a, uh, it was a yeah IG uh. video. So he just went across the street. It just continued to say, "What are you gonna do, bro? This is this cheaper." <laughs> I would, I still wouldn't trust that though. Yeah, giving like, you water, it, like what yeah. is this? <laughs> that rubbing alcohol, giving you, you rubbing alcohol. <laughs> and not to mention, he definitely didn't care about this girl's life. You just send her on the on the freeway with a oh, hole yeah, in her yeah. gas. Oh yeah, yeah, okay, you don't care, you're opportunist. Atlanta built different, man. Y'all, oh, man. y'all, y'all crime is just on some. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all got super criminals out there. That is crazy. What else we got? Oh boy, did that. Uh, who always does the videos with the door of the Explorer with backpack? He uh, he had backed up like a uh, like a power wheels into a parking spot, and he was he's doing a little backpack thing running, and he had the holes in his mouth, and you saw stuff just running out of his mouth. He was going from <laughs> car to car like. Backpack, backpack. <laughs> <laughs> People are wilding on social media. I don't know if you've noticed, like, the trend trends have gotten so crazy that people have just started doing fully blown illegal stuff, mm-hmm. and it's almost like the crime element of it. I don't know if this is the younger people who grew up in in social media, but like the crime part is almost like not even expected now. They're just like, this is for my video, so mm-hmm. forget all of the. The laws I'm breaking right now. <laughs> I don't understand um, that. Like this, uh, there's a YouTube couple hit with trespassing charge and facing prison time because they attempted to spend the night inside Target. They were doing the 24-hour challenge. Um, and uh, they basically hid um, hid and, and went, in t- went inside of Target after hours and filmed content for their YouTube channel. They're na- known as Saucy and Honey on YouTube. And they were found at 3 a.m. They didn't make it all, all the way night uh, through the night because an alarm system went off. Um, but uh, they didn't steal anything or anything. They were just literally just walking around, clouting it up. Um, 24-hour overnight challenge in Target uh, for 17,000 followers, which is it's a cool amount if you're, if you're starting off. But it's also like prison time? Bro. This ain't the type of viral you, you want. Uh, yeah. But also, they're getting prison time, but the people who stormed the Capitol aren't getting jack shit. That's so part the craziest just, part about 2020, like, actually. Our like, priorities are so skewed. BLM people are missing <laughs> eyes and, and were beat up, and one person died, or a couple people died. And the people who literally filmed themselves Storm robbing the Capitol. the Capitol building. This wasn't even just a post office or a federal building. This was the Capitol. Barely getting a slap on the wrist. The dude who was carrying out the podium... Going like this, what do you get? Like thirty he, days or something? It's uh, something like he's getting more time than uh, he's getting less time than uh, Jesse Smollett is getting in prison. Not that he's getting a whole lot either, but it's still it's just and like Jesse made it up. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse was dumb, but he did that to himself. Jeez Louise, bro! You you will get more time as a black person setting yourself up than you will as a white person storming the committing Capitol. treason. That's Basically. treason. Yeah. yeah. That's insane. That is crazy. And now, like, that guy with the horns is, like, an iconic yeah. image. But he's not in prison. Is he still in jail? No, he's, he's out, not. Right? He actually wants people to, he, he wants them to, like, not, he wants to not be associated with that anymore. And it's, like, ridiculous because it's, like, you did this to yourself. Oh, the right. privilege. He beat the case and was. He just was the like, one that was like, y'all not? I can't go to jail because I have a specific vegan. diet, yeah, right? He's, got, he's some bullshit like that. It's like, also, race aside, man, we've gotten kind of soft in the uh, in the marching department. <laughs> this is they were not, man. These 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 we, we are built different nowadays. Back in the day, people were taking dog bites and stuff like that. Yeah. Jail time, like yeah. 
like they, I don't I don't think jail time is really like a part of our protest now. It's just kind of like we'll, we'll we'll piss people off. And now they were doing like, it. They were people were going to jail, um, especially like when the Mike Brown and uh, uh, other verdicts in St. Louis and people were protesting and. They that was would, when they it was would, crazy though. That yeah. was when people were throwing Molotovs and stuff. All of that, yeah, yeah, and like they would enlist uh, or enact a, a curfew, and people would still be protesting. And everybody that protests went to jail, mm-hmm. and they would collect the funds to get people out and, mm-hmm. and, and provide them lawyers. So they still do it. They still do it. The BLM ones, but those were intense. The, mm-hmm. the other ones since then have been kind of like, all right, well, y'all got it, y'all got it. Yeah, yeah. I don't. Um, I really don't want to go to prison. <laughs> it's not nice, nice. It's not fun. That's not. Have You're you not been? supposed to want to, Pat. Yeah, yeah. Right. No, have I'm you not, been uh, as an inmate? No, not just just, just as working. A teacher. Just as a teacher, man. And I can tell you what, you wouldn't like it. It doesn't seem like you a lot of fun. You wouldn't like it, and uh, you wouldn't want to go with your hair. Yeah, I figured I would have to. Yeah, you might want you know because I mean it's it I mean just a lot of stuff going on. The the cleanliness is the best that you know the inmates could do because they try to keep the area pretty clean. But it's only so much you can do. I, listen, I'm not gonna go to jail. Okay, I'm not gonna do it. I like I like going to sleep when I want to. I like being able to eat what I want to. I like uh, taking showers and baths when I want to. Mm-hmm. I like um, my my premium goods from Hawthorne. Mm-hmm. All right, when you know better, you do better, and I know better, which is why I use Hawthorne. Now, yeah. I could lean on the 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 the, the convenience store shampoo and, and lotion and stuff like that, but why? Why when Hawthorne takes the time to to give me a quiz so I can tell them exactly what I'm looking for, exactly what type of person I am, and they can suggest the the the, the right products to give me everything that I need for my skin, my my face, my fragrance? Why would I lean on the convenience store? It doesn't make sense. Okay, so I lean on Hawthorne, and they upgraded my my body wash, my shampoo, my deodorant. Of course, my cologne. I even got candles from them. Listen, fellas, it is long gone the days of, oh, I'm just a guy. You know, I just got to take a shower at least. No. Moisturize, man. Get some face wash. Shampoo and condition your hair. It's, it's time we took, we took stock in how we look, not just inside the bedroom, outside the bedroom, on a daily basis. And that is what Hawthorne is for. Like I say, first off, you take a quiz and then you tell them what type of person you are, where you like to go out, where you like to hang, what type of person you are there. When you are there, what type of drinks you drink. You are a neat drinker, you're a cocktail, you're a beer, you're a wine, whatever. And at the end of the quiz, you'll get viewed, um, you'll be able to view customized product tailored to your body, your skin type, your hair, and your lifestyle. Uh, as I mentioned, I have the shampoo, the conditioner, the body wash, and the cologne. Um, and immediately when I started doing it, I noticed the difference in how I felt and how people viewed me. So, Hawthorne stands by their customers. So if you're not completely satisfied, they'll retail your products for free based on the feedback that you give them, and they'll pay for the shipping, so there is truly no risk. Right now, I want to encourage fellas, start off the year right. We're still early in the new year. You got a chance to make that change. Um, Start with Hawthorne today. Go to Hawthorne.co. That's H-A-W-T-H-O-R. N-E dot C-O. Use the promo code D-I-Y-S and get 10% off your first purchase. That's Hawthorne.co, promo code D-I-Y-S, Hawthorne.co, promo code D-I-Y-S, and get 10% off your first order. Holla at your boy. Shout out to Hawthorne. Right? That's grown man stuff. That's I, grown man, bro. I kid you not, in high school and college, my idea of cologne was um, for breezing the shirt that I put on. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I used to use the uh, cologne pages that were in the oh, GQ. Old school. Yeah, I, I mean, it's what I had at mm-hmm. the time. I'm talking about like middle school. I, I didn't have money. Is that when you had to rub the actual paper on you? Yes, absolutely. Or you Did, stick it in your pocket. Yeah, you stick you it in that, your pocket. Yeah. Or you could like lick your finger and get it wet and then rub it on your neck to get a little bit off of it, a little bit more off of it. Because it wasn't a lot that they put on that. I have any of those. The, the magazines that I saw do that actually had a little sample in it. They like actually had like the little vials oh, the, in it. That was the thing, right? Some well, they had either. some yeah, in the either paper, or. or you had to like peel off and yeah. like, scratch it. Or yeah, whatever. oh, never done that before. Just the, just the Febreze. But the thing is, if you get you get a compliment like that, you're gonna keep doing it. <laughs> there's no yeah. reason. To, there's yeah. no reason to stop. But then when you get that first fragrance, I, I know the smell of Febreze too much that if you did that, I'd be like, why is this person smell like Febreze? And <laughs> hey, this is when Febreze first came out. So yeah, you're, you, 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 you got it at the right point. That's when it first dropped, and they're like. 
Is that cool? Why for Breeze cool and not laundry? X? Huh? Why for Breeze and not X? Well, X was actual high school and middle right. school. Okay, okay. So as nasty as X was, I do appreciate them for starting the journey of like spraying on a smell because mm-hmm. without because it was way too much and the. F- the scents made no sense. They didn't. It was like fireball, yeah, cinnamon. Was, yeah. <laughs> I remember like, when they did that whole chocolate thing, and they really were oh like, they were pushing gosh. heaven with the chocolate. Like, yo, what are y'all doing? But like, it was stuff that didn't even hint at a, a, a smell, let alone a good one, like forklift. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it just had like Ratchet lightning. Set. <laughs> Just have like lightning, basketball court paint. Like, yeah. <laughs> just have a fucking pass, doing a chess pass. It was just, uh, I do, I do, I man, I remember that smell though, and especially in PE yeah. when everybody yeah. was just. You walk into the locker room and it's just a cloud. Oh, because they just masked yeah. must. Yeah, and they would spread all over their it. locker too. I'm like, why are you continue to spray it not on your body? <laughs> well, no one told us really about smells. Like that was the same era. That if you couldn't like smoke weed or something like that, you would spray fragrances and then it would just smell like fruity weed yeah. or like yeah. Yeah, yeah. beachside yep, right. weed. And then we'd be like, beachside weed. We're good now. And like adults would be like, who no, was smoking and sp- spraying for reason here? <laughs> 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 the things we thought we were getting away with. Man, oh crazy. man. Um, okay, so let's get into this apocalypse mm-hmm. because there are three stories in particular that. Um, Kind of, kind of concerning. Um, what do you want to go into first? We got uh, a myth that has been unleashed onto the earth. Mm. We have Elon Musk planning on making android people. Okay. okay. And we have parachuting um, spiders taking over. Wow. Now, I gotta go with the the, spiders. the spiders thing, I can debunk after you tell it. Oh, it's this ain't real? No, it is real, but they're not as dangerous as people are trying to make it out to be. And they've been oh, here. They've the been danger here part. I don't think that was my thing. It was, I, I want to hear the, about the spiders. It was the them being them part. So this is the headline. Parachuting spiders. That's just where we're starting. First, yeah. like <laughs> what? How did they get this intelligent? <laughs> Parachuting spiders the size of your palm are making their way across the East Coast. Okay. Wait, the size of your palm? Yeah. This part, yep. Now, usually when they say that about spiders, they're including the leg span. So yeah. this is them right. like that. That's still pretty big. That's no, still that's still big. huge, yeah. But I'm just saying, you originally think like the, the body is like that, and then the legs go off of that. Maybe I do, but whatever. Um, parachuting spiders. Originally from Asia, This is they're called the Joro spider. And uh, they're moving, moving north. As Cam says, it says, don't worry, the creature is not interested in hurting people. Um, but uh, they are from Asia. They were first spotted in Georgia about 10 years ago, and apparently they are making its way up the East Coast, taking over everything. They have, they've spread across uh, the southeastern part of the country thanks to parachute-like silks and their habit for attaching themselves to cars. Um, so, yeah. Just looked it up. Was mm-hmm. not like, you know what the color it's certain real. colors just, just oh yeah pop. because it, it screams to nature poisonous oh and I don't yeah think they are, but... anytime I see red on the spider I just automatically think black oh, yellow? widow yeah yeah because what is that for if not poison no, th- th- well it's t- so they think they're poisonous it's because birds will see it and they'll know that they'll know they'll associate that with poisonous oh, things camo? so they won't go after it who ruined Even that who not. started b- making I who was the first like colorful <laughs> toxic animal that was just like I think. Red oh means my poison. God. It's a lot. So yeah, they're quite large, going up to three inches from end to end, uh, which is roughly the size of someone's palm. Uh, that combined with the creature's bright yellow, blue, and red colors and fearsome-looking webs may scare people, uh, but they do not hurt people. Uh, they're actually very, very timid. Um, but th- it's it's almost like how rats be running away and roaches be running away. They're still they're, they're still icky. And yes, that's the that's the, that's the issue. But. Um, how did they get up here in the first place? Um, so apparently they stowed away on certain shipping containers. Um, it says that there are a bunch of objects inside that are housing or providing refuge for invasive species. Um, so low-key, they kind of snuck into the club. <laughs> they came out here, and now they, they're able to use their webs to parachute and fly around using, I guess, cars? I didn't. Uh, I didn't know about that part. I was always wondering, like, how'd they get high enough to parachute well, down? Well, a gust of wind. I mean, they're really light. You you hit a strong breeze, and they'll be so they'll just have. Here. They'll just like let yeah. lay the shoot the webs out and be like, Phew. it's kind of cool. 
<sighs> yeah, it says I don't like looking at. So I can't look at spiders without getting that like feeling, like one almost crawling on you. Uh, yuck! Spiders or roaches? Which yes. worse? Spiders. Oh, roaches more, more than me. roaches? Yes. I'll deal with spiders. Like I won't even kill them in my apartment. I it depends on the species, though, right? Spiders. Well, yeah. If it's a black widow, I'll be like, "Hey, you kind of can't be in here with me." <laughs> if it if it has hair, but if it's like a daddy long legs, I'm like, "Yeah, you're fine." Just yeah, the ones that like are daddy long legs to me are vague. Like they're just a circle. I yeah. don't I don't see the eyes. And they just have like little lines that look like hairs. They're too vague. But the more detailed it gets, like once I see little shapes or any hair, any bug with mm-hmm. hair, gotta die with yeah. fire. I mean, if it's on me, it's dying. <laughs> but if, if it's, it's not, on you, if it's on the... me, I'm gonna kill it. But if it's not, it's fine. It says they um these fly they form parachutes out their web and can travel fifty to hundred miles through the wind. That's pretty insane. <sighs> For a little, a little bit spider that small to see a hundred miles worth of Earth, period. Like this guy got stamps on his passport. Man, I don't fuck with it. But they're, I mean, they they don't hurt people. But I just think it's crazy that first of all they stowed, like they snuck in here on a shipping container, and mm-hmm. now they're just like using parachutes to spread. So like, if they survive, that'll just be a, like a native species over here. And it's like, how did that even happen? They came over here by ship. That's our fault. If anything, a lot of the wildlife in North America now was brought over from the Europeans. On accident? Yeah, by accident. Wildlife? Yeah, most of like, yeah, animal. I mean, like, there weren't like cows in that over here. Oh, but that's like, but like, we, we need brought cows, over right? like any of like, uh, I think the zebra mussel. I don't know if you've heard of that. that the what? Zebra mussel. It's a, like a uh, shellfish. We brought those over. Um, a lot of the plants, like the the entire environment here, wouldn't look the same as it does now, uh, as it would then. Oh, it's a mussel with the uh, stripes. That was a really specific example. The zebra mussel. Uh, there are a ton of things over in uh, the Northeast, and that's where I'm from. So, that's pretty crazy. Yeah, like it, like when I found out as an LA native that palm trees aren't even grown nope. here. <sighs> LA is fake as hell. <laughs> LA is fake as hell. The whole thing we known for is palm trees, and we stole that. Mm. Um, okay, cool. So we 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 covered the uh, we covered the invasive parachuting spiders. Now we got Japanese myth unleashed. Is that the demon rock that blew up? Mm-hmm. Mm. And, I mean, Cam already knows about that. Let's just jump right into it, then. All right. This is uh, just. I mean, we have 2020, 2021, 2022, COVID. I think they opened up a, some mummy. There's just a lot going on right now that we don't need happening to us in our luck. But just uh, just like that, a chaotic evil demon um, that was trapped inside a rock in ja- in Japan. It's called the Killing Stone. Uh, this has been it's been trapped in there for a thousand years, and it has recently been split in half. Killing Stone. The Japan's Killing Stone. It splits in two, releasing superstitions amid the Sulphur Springs, which yeah, sounds like... Seven-tailed fox or something, isn't it? Nine-tailed. Nine-tailed. That's which is, is insane. Legend has it there's an evil spirit trapped in the Seshoseki Stone, which, well, what happens... So what happens now that the stone is broken? Predictions of dark forces being unleashed by an evil vixen hung over social media in Japan on Monday after a famous volcanic rock said to kill anyone who comes into contact with it was found split in two. According to mythology, uh, the Sesho Seki, or Killing Stone, uh, the object contains the transformed corpse of the Tamamo no Mai, a beautiful woman who had been part of the secret plot hatched by a feudal warlord to kill Emperor Toba. Uh, Legend has it that her true identity was an evil nine-tailed fox whose spirit is embedded in the hunk of lava located in an area of the Tochigi pre- uh, I never can say this word, prefecture, prefecture, um, area, near Tokyo, famous for its sulfurous hot springs. Its separation into two roughly equal parts believed to have occurred within the last few days has spooked online users who noted that, according to folklore, the stone continually spews poisonous gas, hence its name. Uh, while the stone is said to have been destroyed, its spirit exercised by a Buddhist monk who scattered its pieces across Japan. Um, many Japanese prefer to believe that its home is on the slopes of Mount Nasu. So what's crazy about this is that it, it didn't say if a person did it or if it naturally happened. No, they just found the rock. They just destroyed. found the rock like that. And apparently some evil murderous spirit was unleashed. The second craziest thing is, ain't that... Ain't that the plot of Naruto? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
No, he's, he's got a fox demon in him. It's like a nine-tailed fox, right? Yeah. Yep. So anime is out here a Calling full it. documentary. So that'll tell you what's <laughs> about to happen. Just watch it. Jeez Louise. So I guess we got to start ninja training, or I don't know what that means, <laughs> but... Um, just let's add that to let's add that to the 2022 problems. Uh, we got the a demon nine tail fox just out and about. Maybe it stays in Japan. I don't know how folklore her- works. I don't know if demons travel. Um, travel. Well, he has to possess some travel. Travel. I don't know if they travel, but that's um. If you Slide believe in that kind right of stuff, now. if you believe in that kind of stuff. Yeah. That's kind of like the uh, Japanese version of a like a mummy's curse being broken, right? Mm-hmm. So I mean, yeah, just add that to your um. It is a lot going on. List of right excuses. Now. If if anything bad happens this week, just be like, "Damn, nine-tailed fox, <laughs> 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 yeah, killing stone." Why can't we just have more laughter? Why is it why is so much? It's so much crazy stuff going on right now. Like, could have more laughter. We could definitely have. We we need somebody to produce some more comedy specials. Uh, you know, let's bring in living color back. Okay. Um. I don't know some some cool game shows or something like we, it's a lot. I mean, join Racket, all right. Right now we're finding out that you know Racket is 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 popping for comedy. If you think you're funny or you you got a great idea for for a show with with humor, do it, man. It, all you have to do is press a button and you start recording. You have 99 seconds to get off your hilarity. Okay, you can share some jokes. You could get external validation. You can find inspiration from jokesters or other comedians. Um, and people will laugh with you. You know what I'm saying? You can download Racket right now from the App Store. That's R A C K E T, like tennis racket. And head over to Racket.com uh, to download the app and tell them your best jokes. Share it. Share it with everybody, man. Like um, one thing about comedy is that it is not like um, it is not just one vein. Like there are so many different ways that you you can do comedy from. Uh, telling stories to jokes to uh, sketches to skits to podcasts to dad jokes. It doesn't matter. There's so many ways to share comedy, and I really believe in the power of laughter. Um, so I encourage everybody right now to go ahead and, and, and download Racket, man. If you got something funny to say, if comedy is your sixth sense, so to speak, go ahead and share it on Racket. Um, it's a great place to get that, that comedy outlet out. So. Do that now. Yes, sir. Uh, speaking of comedy, um, you ever you ever be watching those like old Renaissance castle nighty things, and you see the um, what are they called? The jester. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Court jester. Yeah, the court jester. You ever you ever think like as a comic like you would be that back in the day? Oh yeah, for sure. It seems fun, but it I, does. I feel but like also, if you're not funny, you die. Ooh, that's what I was gonna say. Yeah. Who are you trying to material on? <laughs> a bomb. A bomb. You gotta, is you gotta very try different. it on somebody that's very much like the like the king. Like he has that, that sense of humor. Because the moment you bomb, <laughs> ugh, tough I think crowd. you die. Yeah. yeah, I think they yeah. kill. Do they kill probably. the justice? Um, I can't say for sure, but probably. Mm. Or if you say something at the wrong moment, trying to be funny, and it wasn't mm. a funny moment. Uh, but I mean, like, think about how shitty. Like, of all the time periods, th- th- I would never want to live in there. Not just because yeah. I'm black, but it just seems so boring. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, all the m- period pieces where there's, like, the tie-up oh, I hate corset the outfits, things yeah. and the f- so frilly stuffy. stuff. I hate. I just hate every storyline within that. It's just very boring. Look cold and wet, too. Oh, it was drafty. Castles were super drafty. Yeah. Just, uh, there's no oh, yeah. Huh? There's no insulation. And that, there's that, just holes yeah. in the wall. Yeah. Mm-hmm. People say, so you're sleeping on hay. Yeah, if you if you Star. weren't living in the castle, the most royal time, people. Yeah, no, I'm saying like if you weren't living in the castle, most times like your your bedding was hay, like you, yeah. that's what was stuffed in the, the sack, which was your mattress. Oh, God, hay is sharp. Yeah, hay is sharp yeah. as hell. And then you got to get up and feed it to the animals. I wouldn't even walk barefoot on hay. And what's crazy is like, though it they, they seem so stuffy and uptight, and like it, no one was interesting or fun. To the point where they just needed a fun guy. Like he, mm-hmm. he, he wasn't just like a comic that was going around. Like it was just like, all right, we need some entertainment. Bring in the only guy who has a sense of humor. And, his, and it was usually trash. It was mm-hmm. like, yeah, like throwing stuff up. I bring this up because I never, I never asked like what they're what, what they be getting. You know, like is it just to live or is it a a modest pay? Well, let's talk about Roland the Farter. Um, I didn't. I've never heard of this guy. His painting is hideous, um, but Roland the Farter was a medieval f- uh, flatulist. That's funny. And jester for King Henry II. Every Christmas, 
This is this is imagine this being your work schedule. Every Christmas he was expected to perform one jump, one whistle, and one fart. That was his schedule as a jester. He would go up to the king, jump, whistle, and fart, which is a very shitty set, by the way. Um, and I'm he just trying scary. to think, like, king, king, the king is, like, what is your life like when you're just like, where's the guy who does the jump, whistle, fart? <laughs> um, I can't wait. And only on Christmas, because that's the only time I'm, I'm willing what to laugh. What was name again? Roland, Roland the Farter, a flatulist. And he was expected to perform one jump, one whistle, and one fart. Guess what he got for that? What? He was compensated with a manor and 30 acres of land. Shit. I don't know if this was like the baller of Jester's And he was or called ball. upon one day a year, basically? Christmas. He came up in there and said, Merry Christmas, y'all. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and the king laughed harder than that. He was like, <laughs> 364 days of um, sh- shitting on my people. I needed oh that laugh. Oh, my God, dog. That is- Jesters <laughs> were out here paid. Big paid. I would for sure do that. And then he just, what, did he practice the rest of the year? <laughs> he got to make sure that fart is immaculate. Man, that's, the best, that's the best gig you could ask for. He's eating, <laughs> he's eating chili up until... I mean, he's starting on the 21st and just it's down crazy. the cans of chili. But everybody else's jobs back then were crazy. Like, they were, like, working sun up to sun down, holding horses, walking them. And then there was just somebody who was just w- joke whistle fart. I mean, maybe you guys think that of uh, podcasters, but... <laughs> 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 I mean, we do it every week. Every week. <laughs> That's right. a jump whistle in a park for an hour and a half every week. But I I wonder, they were like, I wonder if he's going to do the same thing for last year. <laughs> no, no, he's going to do something different. Hell no. Nah. He's been waiting all year. <laughs> he's going to do fart whistle in the jump. <laughs> what? Ooh, imagine the year they were sick of it and they were just like, hmm. I was going to say, he can't, that one day, and for some reason, he just can't do it. He, uh, he can't fart? Yeah, or if he does it perfectly and they're just like, you know, after 19 years, <laughs> this guy doesn't have this, the spunk he came out with. Uh, oh my god! <laughs> They're like, man, I want you to go back to the old Roland, the old Roland, the farter. <laughs> I never. Damn, that's crazy. I never thought. Now every time I see a jester, I'm gonna wonder how paid they are. I was a. Uh, I always wondered, like, with Game of Thrones and stuff like that, and they had like the whorehouses and stuff like that. Like, I guess they really just back then they weren't tripping off of like disease and pregnancy thinking, yeah, and stuff STDs. like that. They yeah, didn't really know about it because I mean a lot of people weren't educated, mm-hmm. so the, there was no health class that anyone was taking that was teaching you about this. No, that just changes unaware. things. Yeah, it does. It, it, like I, you in your back of your head, you're just like, man, they don't care. They're just going raw. But back mm-hmm. that was just sex. They yeah. were probably yeah. just like, my dick has what? <laughs> Condoms weren't invented until 1855. Did they, did they start lambskin or did they start with some weirder stuff? They probably started. So. And they lambskin. started with. Uh, I wouldn't expect them to be able rubber. to make. Did they start with rubber? Yeah, Charles huh. Goodyear discovered rubber. Goodyear? <laughs> so Goodyear tires and condoms. Goodyear. Is that the rubber. same Goodyear? I'm, I would imagine I, so. Uh, this guy was an expert of trade. Vulcan, vulcanization, <laughs> the technology which led to the creation of the first rubber condoms in 1855. Uh, given that they were the thickness of a bicycle. Bicycle inner tube and had to be custom fitted. Nothing. They were a little more than cumbersome. Damn. Uh, I, uh, I wonder who the first people to test them out were. Woof. Unhappy. That, I mean, poor <laughs> woman more than anything. Because the, 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 I feel like the man would be like, no, this doesn't feel as good. And the, mm-hmm. the woman would be like, ah, what the fuck? That hurts. The invention of the latex condom wasn't until the 1920s and it revolutionized the condom industry. We haven't been having sex like that. Yeah. For, oh, I almost said 80 years. I guess that's 100 years ago now. Yeah. 1920s is 100 years, yeah. Damn. So wait, you said the first was Well, it says in ancient Egypt, the covering of choice was likely linen, uh, but that's it was used to prevent things, shit, enough, something other than STDs and unwanted pregnancies, insect be- bug bites and stuff like that. Yeah, Egyptians so. were fancy, man. Like everything had was silks and linens and Ooh. florals. It wasn't until the 16th century that the concept of condoms was published when anatomy, uh, anatomist uh, Giabrel Falapiopio referred to the use of chemical soaked linen Is that a person? tied around the shaft with a ribbon to help prevent the spread of syphilis. So syphilis was popping in the 1500s. Oh, oh of course. I feel like that's when it time. was, I feel like that's what pirates. That was the height of it. it was, that was like a pirate it, STD. Yeah. 
<laughs> but then also like random like historic figures like Ben Franklin was just yeah, walking he, around yeah. burning like that. But um, that's 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 wild. So they tied a ribbon mm-hmm. to What's seal some the linen. That was before the elastic part, I guess, or not mm-hmm. the elastic part. The what is that part? The ring. Yeah. They had to tie the bottom. That yeah. sucks. That's like a that's a lot of work. It is. It's, it's, it's a lot going on, man. And I feel like most of these people were absolutely wasted. Yeah, so the, he probably didn't even tie the ribbon good. Well, cut him off in the first couple strokes. So, so damn. So we had to we had to have learned about STDs by getting them. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So that's just, the only yeah. way you you perfect something is to actually let something go wrong. Plane crashes, everything. Black Every, box. Black yeah. box. Next time we need something to just kind of tell us what happened. Let's put something in there just record everything. Yeah, and then they heard it and it was like ah. And they're like. We need more information than yeah. this. Just <laughs> <laughs> screams. Let's, let's let's make it do something else. Yeah. Also. <laughs> These but are all the, the same. Thing is, this is the craziest thing about the concept of the black box, right? The black box records everything that happens, right, and is damn near indestructible. Mm-hmm. They figured out a way to make this device damn near indestructible. Mm-hmm. Why not make the plane indestructible? Well, I could answer that. You can't, please, can't fly, please, right? Because the material that that's made of is probably very expensive and uh-huh. very heavy. So mm. because of the weight, you can't fly with something like that. Mm. Unless you, you'd need more propulsion, so you'd need bigger engines, with more uh, fuel to then get this plane off the ground that's supposedly indestructible. But also, okay. if you were if your plane was going down, it wouldn't matter if the plane blew up if it smashed into the yeah. earth people just go everywhere inside die. the plane you probably die inside of it yeah. just bouncing around the interior which but i'd are... rather it blow up honestly pad pad that bad boy with the bouncy house material and we'd be straight it'd be fun they already have that in the somewhere next to their doors for the slides mm-hmm. yeah. that yeah. always seems really fun <laughs> but i wouldn't want to use it in real time <laughs> yeah i kind of just want to go down the slide on <laughs> when it's parked <laughs> just cuz yeah that's like now that I think about it, that's like the darkest time to slide down a slide. Mm-hmm, yeah. <laughs> There's no other slides that are, uh, like, you You really go like, wee, and then you're like, oh, I'm in the middle of the ocean. <laughs> and then there's immediately sharks and shit around you. Oh, man, I don't like thinking of shipwrecks. Mm-mm. Let's um, let's move on to Elon Musk. Let's go. Did you see he challenged Vladimir Putin to a single combat over Ukraine? Can't combat? Yeah, he was like, I'll fight you one-on-one, and then whoever wins gets to keep Ukraine. Don't know. I mean, he did it, he did it on Twitter, so nothing right. will probably happen, but I just thought it right. was very but funny also, to watch. But also, Elon, we know you're smart. Consult with us first. <laughs> like, man, I don't... Elon doesn't strike me as having hands. No. Um, Putin does. Mm-hmm. Putin seems like he, he has crazy stories of killing, like, a bear with his bare hands or... Mm-hmm. Just mm-hmm. He, Putin. Putin is. I'm not, I, don't, I don't even want to. I feel like we're already on a list for me saying his name three times, but <laughs> I don't think I don't think Putin be playing like that. So I don't know about the fist fight. Maybe a I don't know Robo Nano fight. Whatever, <laughs> whatever uh, Elon's the best at. Um, but Elon Musk is. Um, he's definitely leaving an impact on culture already. First of all, this has nothing to do with what I'm about to say, but he just had a kid. Congrats. That's right. Mm-hmm. He had a kid with Grimes, the singer. Um, daughter named Exa Dark Citarel Musk. All right. Uh-huh. I'm just going to take that. It sounds like a, a, it sounds like something he w- would make, low key, literally. Yeah. yeah. He, and he made his. It's daughter. better than the other child's name that was like unpronounceable. He has another like kid? A formula. Yeah, he's got a, mo- mo- a bunch, I think. With Grimes? Not. I don't know if it's her kid, but it was the one that's like XJS. Squared. Oh, I see. It's X A E A twelve. Yeah. Okay. Musk. That's the. Is that how I'm you would say it? I'm X assuming. A E A twelve. Pronounce it. Musk, nicknamed X. <laughs> this guy's really on brand. That's that's why. Yeah, that's <laughs> everything. He's he like does everything is... science, even my kid. Um, but yeah, he's uh always in the news. But this one is. Kind of scary. I want to see if you guys would do this. So he has an interview where he says that they're working on something that can stop and or reverse aging. 
he basically says that there's a way to uh, alter our DNA and our RNA and literally have us stop aging or reverse, which is weird. I, I guess if you're if you're older, you'd want to reverse. But I think we're literally and and you know we're distracted by stuff like Teslas and brain chips. But we're really on the verge of androids. Like I think oh, yeah. within go. the next five yeah. ten years, we're gonna have additions to us that are either computer like. Um, this doesn't seem. I don't know if this is considered androids because you're not really adding. Well, maybe you are because a lot of these, uh, a lot of this technology is like on a, a microscopic level now. But would y'all do this? Would you stop or reverse your a aging? I don't know if that means you live forever though. I don't see. I don't see a need for it right now. Like, cause I mean, is that aging just with looks? Like, do your organs no, like, still? I would age? say. I would say everything, everything would stop. Everything aging. would slow down. Yeah. Somehow it alters how your body ages. But I don't know if that means healthier, right? No. Because it no, could. You it could have work. You still have to work out. Yeah. Still diet stuff. Your cells just wouldn't see. That's the weird thing is would they would your cells continue to reproduce because when a cell ages and dies, it mm -hmm. multiplies right. and you get more cells, and that's how you don't. That's why I fall feel apart. like there's a lot of how would this change mm -hmm. that? There's a lot of stuff because if your body's this. still producing cells, but your cells aren't dying, wouldn't you just become like an amorphous blob of cells? I just don't. I don't see the need for it. Like, uh, if, as long as I can still work out, and with the help of Bluetooth, I still could do what I need to do. Why? Why? Why would I? Why would I? Why would I do that? Like, Bluetooth does reverse aging, though. I, I, that's, that's what I'm saying. So I don't. I don't really. I don't really need anything. 20 I mean, it's, I mean, when it's time to go, I'm ready to go. You can take Bluetooth at any time, mm -hmm. day and night. So you're always ready when the opportunity arises. It's 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 a unique form, a chewable tablet with the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, but in a chewable tablet, and mm -hmm. it's a fraction of the cost. So if it, it it costs less and does the exact same thing, and I don't have to become a, a AI. Why would why would I why would I not do blue juice? It's true. It only makes sense. Um, like I say, you can take them any night, and it's super easy to sign up. You don't even have to leave your house, so you don't have to go to the awkward doctor's office. You don't have to have that awkward conversation. Everything ships directly to your door in a discreet package. It's cheaper than going to the pharmacy. And the best part of what I'm telling you right now is that I'm gonna hook you up for the free month's worth. A free month of blue juice. All you have to do is pay five dollars for shipping and handling. What you waiting on? Oh, I know what you're waiting on. You're waiting on the, on, on, on the website, okay? Well, how about this? Go to Bluetooth.com, okay? Go to Bluetooth.com. Use the promo code DIYS. Get a free month worth of the Bluetooth. All you have to do is pay $5 for shipping and handling. You're going to go on there. You're going to fill out a survey. You're going to talk to one of the licensed physici physicians. And once you're approved, you will have your product in about a week or more. And, and 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 then you'll see what I'm talking about. Do it. I don't need to stop no aging process. I got better with age. I'm fine wine, baby. Fine wine. And you will be too. So try it out today. Go to Bluetooth.com. Use the promo code DIYS and get your first month completely free. All you have to do is pay $5 for shipping. And you'll see. No, I ain't got to tell you no more. You'll see. Get the camera off the cam. Put it on the two. There we go. Shit. I take, no I take Bluetooth just in case now. I don't even... I don't even... <laughs> Don't even chance it. I just, I just go home. I wake up and take it with my coffee. I don't even got no no intercourse lined up. Let me, I just, let me, I just take it because it just. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. It's just the best. I just, I just got my brand new month. Uh, I want to say like on the third. Uh, I'm out. Really? Yes. This you week, said on the this third. This past week was crazy. This past week was very crazy, Cam. You said I am on the third. On the third. Oh damn! That was eleven days ago. I am thirty. And this is this 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 is a. Uh, I think I'm at the. Oh, I gave a couple away. I was about to say, are you taking more than one in a no, day? No, no, you can't. You don't take one more than one. Day, yeah. Just once a day. But I gave a couple away, and I just upped it to the forty-five. Nice. I told them a story yesterday. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you this week. We get up out of here. I was on one of them things, mm -hmm. and Fran had found this other little company that's like an organic, like sex brownie type thing. Mm -hmm. Forgot I had took one of them little things. Oh yeah, I heard this. Took story. took the took the sex brownie. Wow, I went to sleep, woke up still wild. Got home yesterday after checking out the Airbnb. I was like, let me rub one out before I take this nap. That one turned to three. I'm talking about three without stopping. Jesus. Without breaking stride. Like, That's a shotgun right here, at that point. Ah, ah, kept going. 
<laughs> to the point where like it frothed over. What? Somebody said I churned myself like I screamed. Wait. The cleanup was ridiculous. It looked like uh, caramel macchiato had spilled it on bubbled? it. With the foam. Yeah. It frothed it. Froth, froth it. I, I don't know how to explain it. No, it's the correct term. Is it's, that it's, okay? Is that normal? I don't... Is that... Huh? It yeah, wasn't man. frothy by itself. It's because he was all the friction. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it was. It was the friction. Oh. Because it kept going. Yeah, yeah. I thought you unlocked a new... No, no. <laughs> 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 well, Sherry said, I reloaded! <laughs> <laughs> but I've never had that happen. <laughs> like, I've... I've ejaculated and, and got back hard immediately. Right. But I've never, like, ejaculated three times, never mm-hmm. lost an erection. Yeah. And just was still going. Like, there was With no Blue break Tour, in the stroke. Two. Like, yeah. it was just like... Three is crazy. Two, I've done two. I've never done three in my life. I feel like I, somebody should be back interviewing back me. Back. I feel like somebody, like GQ or somebody should be hitting me up like, yo, so explain what happened. You should do post, uh, post-game interviews with the... With and without the chew, see if there's a, a difference. Yeah, yeah, that was uh was amazing. Cause yeah, like when I when I when I go in without a chew, I feel like I'm going in with no with no backup. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm like, going in with no game plan. I'm just yeah. winging it. When I got the blue chew, mm-hmm. it's it's for sure. The other one is just like, all right, let's let's see let's let, let's see how I do <laughs> in a uh, Super Saiyan base mode. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, dropping the bag. Mm-hmm. Um, a couple companies have done this, but no, no one more than SD Louder. Mm. Um, this this is crazy. This is one of the craziest stories I've ever heard in the corporate world. SD Louder, senior executive. Um, oh, I'm sorry. SD Louder is the company. I don't mm-hmm. know. These, these mm-hmm. are both names. SD Louder's senior executive. His name's John Dempsey. He makes. Made ten million dollars every year. That was his. That was his. Uh, that was a guarantee. Salary ten yeah. million dollars, which is interesting. It's crazy taxes. Um, he was fired just because he posted a meme. One meme, he posted, lost his job. Ten million dollars a year. The meme. <laughs> um, it's not. It's it's very. It's it's it is offensive, but it's kind of funny. All right. This is a uh, uh, Sesame Street book title. It has Snuffy sick in bed, and the title is "My Nigga Snuffy Done Got the Rona at a Chingy Concert." <laughs> what? My nigga Snuffy done got the Rona at a Chingy concert. Now, as far as memes go. It's fucking hilarious. Okay, they put a COVID mask on Big Bird. Um, as far as white people slanging the N word, not the worst <laughs> context. It, he wasn't really calling somebody it. My nigga Snuffy is just a fun three words. Um, but getting getting fired out of ten million a year for Ooh. a meme. This it was is not worth it. Oh my God, it's not worth it. What are you doing? He said I didn't read it before I posted. Then what was the? Why would you post the Sesame Street book? <laughs> what did he think he was posting? What did yeah. he think it said? That's my, <laughs> what, <laughs> my nigga Snuffy done got the Ronin at a Chingy concert. And first it's, of all, <laughs> why is Chingy performing? <laughs> why Snuffle Luffle gets there? It's so many layers. Dancing to right there. <laughs> like why? It's three one four day right now. We filmed this on Mondays. This is. I got to make a video. <laughs> oh, this is St. Louis. This, this is this is St. Louis Day right here. So this is I speak fluent STL. They're here. Her. Everybody. Isn't that Breco. her? What's Breco mean? Uh, Breco is you know the company uh, Panera. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So in St. Louis, it's, it's not called Panera. It's called St. Louis Bread Company. It's the same restaurant though. Exact same restaurant. Hmm. Exact same restaurant menu. Everything. We just call it St. Louis Bread Company. And, uh, that's what it's called, or that's what just people from St. No, Louis? No, that's go? what it's called. That's what the sign says. It's Panera St. Louis Bread Company. I don't, never knew why why restaurants choose to do that, like the Rally's it's Checkers thing. Local, it's franchise. So like they're not owned by really one person. They're like sub owned mm-hmm. and franchise. So like you could buy a bunch of stores and you'd have your own franchise of. Some but I thought the whole store. franchise thing was I had to meet a list of requirements. Yeah, they probably get all their bread from a specific company, and that's why they have to put that brand name there. That's just an assumption, but like that would make sense. 
I don't know. Oh, so it was like a p- Panera with a different type of supplier? Maybe. Or like how Chipotle, like Chipotle gets all their suppliers locally. If they have one, and maybe it's a deal with the supplier. Mm. What about like checkers and rallies? That's something else. Kind of like the exact same thing. It is the exact the same thing. Same thing with Hardee's and Carl's, Carl's Jr. Jr. Yeah. Right. I think that once they, were se- once they were separate and probably when they merged, there was some deal and that was specified that they have to name. Regionally? Yeah, exactly. Mm. That's so crazy. I don't think I would ever own. I always wondered that. Like, would you guys own a fast food fresh franchise? It's not a. I feel like you have to have a number of them to like really see yeah. the benefit of it financially. But I mean, Rick Ross, he owns a shitload. But that's of, what I'm saying. Like, you, yeah, you have to have a sucks. number of them to right. like really see the benefit. You got to own the like, overhead, the Northeast region. Like, it's all in regions in Damn. that sense. Like, you'd the have to thing? own larger things. To like, I would imagine five or more to really see the financial benefit because it, it costs a lot. Like, most restaurants spent, fail between the first three to five years, <laughs> right? If that, because it costs so much money. To like, to run that shit like, is, and then restaurants that sell liquor or to get oh, a liquor yeah. license, liquor that license is so dumb expensive, and you have to keep paying it. You gotta, re- uh, yeah. I mean, you have to re, you have you to, to re up, re- yeah. But it, that shit is, it's just a lot, man. I kind of so. want a restaurant, but I don't want to focus on it. I just want to have it. Yeah, you just want to be the financer. Yeah, like Shaq has like the craziest financial stats in the oh, world. He He's loves, like, he owns a hundred of these. He owns J.C. Penny. He owns this, 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 John, this, this. Bro. Like, I want that. I don't even know how do you like how do you keep up with all that? Does he have just like board meetings where he's just like Papa John's is doing good, Wingstop's yeah. doing good? Probably, good. I mean, I'm sure his assistant is telling him what's going bad and what's going good. He's probably not handling a lot of the stuff up front. He's just yeah. getting the passive income. That's a lot. That's a parete crazy. Um, speaking of food, this is random, but just thinking of these random board meetings, Doritos decided to remove five chips from each bag. But still charge the same price because of what they're calling shrinkflation. First of all, who found this out? Because the chips are all broken when by the time you get the bag. I don't. I don't know. There's a, literally a breakdown of like um, family size to regular size, like wheat thins family size, 16 ounce to 14 ounce, and they'll break it down like 20, 28 fewer crackers. Um, wow. Yeah, it's a lot. But the Doritos literally just says five fewer chips, which is like. What a boring industry. Like, really, like a bunch of people in suits at Doritos Co. got together and was just like, this is the move. Five less chips this year. And it's just like, really? That's all? They were going back and forth between. They make the, you, you'd, be, you'd be surprised at how much money they make from doing that, though. No, for sure. But that's just, that's such a boring part of your Wikipedia. Like, you <laughs> <laughs> took five chips out and then things really started getting a going. Uh, that's super weak, too. Especially if it tries the same amount. Companies are weak like that, that, and they're already profitable. So, like, how much more money do you need to now make to just by taking keep these five chips sh- out, mm-hmm. shaving off the sides? Super weird. Um, not as weird as this, though. This is <laughs> this is for all the single people out there. Um, you'll probably never find someone just because of this story. <laughs> Woman who married herself is now divorcing herself. Because she met someone else. (laughs) (laughs) Who does she have to pay alimony to? (laughs) Right. That's hilarious. So this is um, a woman who made headlines earlier this year because she married herself. Uh, Just confessed that herself is not good enough for herself. She's leaving herself. She's leaving. She's moving out the house. Uh, Chris Galera. Um, grew tired of relying on men, so she decided to marry herself in a former ceremony, which held uh, in the sep- in September of last year. Thirty uh, three year old model insisted she wasn't disappointed, not to have a groom, and instead was embracing doing it alone. Cap. <laughs> 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 I don't need a man. I don't need a man so much. I'm going to have a ceremony and show you guys that I'm going to marry myself. That sounds no. that sounds like you. it bothered you. Uh, she said, but uh, it wasn't meant to be. And 90 days later, she decided to divorce herself. Uh, fortunately for Chris, uh, she has met someone special and has even started to fall in love despite vowing to go solo. I was happy while it lasted, she said. I started to believe in love the moment I met someone else special. So really, you could have just stayed single until you met the next person. That was... Did she have to get a lawyer for this divorce? 
Was there a judge involved? Like, I'm very curious about I this proceeding. I don't even know. The actual decision. Yeah, like, how, how, how is that process? valid? Did how, you how can I not marry more than one person, but she can marry herself and be yeah. taken seriously? I don't understand what this. What state did this happen in? Um, I don't know. She is She's Brazilian. Uh, uh-huh. San Paulo, Brazil. But I don't know where she actually got married in. She's fine as hell, too. She's cute. <laughs> um... <laughs> But that's 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 crazy. Like to go through with the all oh that God. just to prove to other people that you don't need anybody. That's dumb. And then bailing immediately. It's ninety days is what three months. Yeah, yeah. She had a lot of time on her hands. That's crazy. I mean, I was there a honeymoon? <laughs> There's so many questions. How do, you, how do you treat yourself any differently after being married than you you were treating yourself before you were married? You're like, committed now. Yeah. Do you? I mean, but do you masturbate differently? Like, does it? Mm. You're doing a glove on? Like, is it it's just the ring? You, you don't that feel much? like doing it? You're like, I have a headache, me. <laughs> 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 like, damn, I can't even masturbate. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> we have a headache. That is, that is ridiculous. Okay, well, uh, yeah, all right. There, there we go. Not a lot of places you can go from there. It's not. I, th- I think, I think that, I think I'm gonna put a bow on it. That's, that's, that's done. That's, we're gonna wrap that up. <laughs> Um, thank <laughs> thank y'all for watching. Um, another episode, uh, crazy all over the place. We went from Man. Japanese demons uh, to fox. parachuting spiders and parachuting spiders. Uh, people marrying themselves, losing five chips of Doritos, and mm-hmm. losing slowing down aging, slowing yeah. down aging. Uh, and and everything in between. So uh, yeah, it was a hell of an episode. And happy three one four day to anybody that might be watching. Hi. Uh, that's in, in in the Scary Squad and it's from St. Louis. Um, I don't even know what to do for a video. I have no idea what to for do. For St. Louis Day? Yeah. Chicken head. I did that last year. And I feel like I should do something different, but I really... You know, I had new, new, new dances since? <laughs> <laughs> have, you, have you heard any new rapper? <laughs> Band-Aid it. Mm, we'll see. Yeah. But uh, until next time, guys, I'm to hear more. I'm Patrick Cloud. And we'll see you on the next episode of Damn Internet. You're scary. You're not even good enough for you. <laughs> <laughs>